Americans choose ABC News, America's number one news source. Hello to our fans online, I'm John Muller. And I'm Diana Perez with the top stories on this Tuesday, September 24th. We'll learn new details today about the terror attack in Nairobi that killed dozens of people. The president of Kenya is expected to address his nation for the first time since the attack. Kenyan security forces have claimed that the hostages are probably freed. At least 11 suspected terrorists have been taken into custody. Three others were killed in that shootout. President Obama learning yet another lesson about the dangers of speaking candidly around microphones. He was overheard at the United Nations chatting with an attendee about their nicotine habits, and the president admitted he has not smoked a cigarette in six years. He says he chews Nicorette, but avoids cigarettes because he's scared of his wife. <laughs> New details this morning about the winner of last week's nearly $400 million Powerball lottery. Probably most important, he's choosing to remain anonymous. South Carolina lottery officials announced that the man has cashed his ticket. They did not say whether he chose the cash option or if he's spreading his payments over 30 years. It was only the second time, by the way, he says he had ever played the lottery. Oh, man. So jealous. So jealous. All right, check out this guy running in the Quad Cities Marathon in Illinois. Yeah, he's backwards. Pretty amazing, right? Yeah, he's also juggling. It's 32-year-old Joe Salter on his way to completing that entire marathon, juggling and going backwards. He did it in five hours, 51 minutes, 25 seconds, an average of 13 minutes, 25 seconds per mile. That's not so bad. He That's also amazing. holds the Guinness record for the fastest backward mile while juggling and the fastest juggling triathlon. Dude, I can't even, I can't even I can't try even imagine. to, I can't even try to say like, oh, I could do that. I, I can't juggle. I so can barely run that, backwards. I, I guess he probably dropped the ball a couple times along the way, but he, know, just, he it, just finishes. Does it count? I well, guess it counts. It yeah, because technically counts. you're juggling. You don't have to be perfect, right? Yeah, that makes sense. It's amazing whether you drop the balls Doesn't or not. Doesn't matter. All right, get more news anytime at ABCNews.com. I'm John Muller. And I'm Diana Perez. Thanks for watching. This is World News Now, available anytime, anywhere you want it. This morning, the first booted couple off Dancing with the Stars tells all here. No one dances in the morning like GMA. And it doesn't stop there. We even have a little revenge. This week on Good Morning America on ABC.